of Magdala. Hoy. What do you know my name? It's been a privilege. It's been an honor. It's it, I I didn't know. I mean, <laughs> I loved the character of Mary Magdalene growing up um, and I was raised Catholic and, and I remember hearing little bits and pieces about her, but I, I didn't really know um, much about her. And then of course, there's been so many media portrayals of her that is sort of speculation. So there's a sort of misunderstanding of who she was. And, um, and so this being able to play her and the way they've written her of, of this backstory for her, um, I didn't even know she had been possessed. I didn't know Jesus exercised seven demons from her. Like I, I, all of this was very surprising. I was like, where was this when I was, you know, growing up? And um, I just, what, what a complicated and, and interesting character. And I know there's not so much written about her in the Bible, but but she is in these very pivotal moments in Jesus's life and, um, and being able to portray her the way they've written her has been a dream as an actress because they've just written a wonderfully in-depth, psychologically complex character, female character that is just a, um, a privilege to get to play. But then also in my own faith and in my own connection to, to her, it's been... <laughs> It's been very touching and very, um, uh, it's been a sort of a sacred experience to to be able to portray someone that was so close to Jesus and loved him so much. And that's this thing that I keep returning to every time um, I get to play her, just like the this deep, deep love for Jesus being there for him, being there at the very end and, and witnessing him for the first time resurrected is so special. And um, I, I don't, I think it's so incredible. Sometimes I, I can't even process it or, or it's overwhelming. Um, and I just want to, I want to honor her. I want to honor this character and, and this story. Um, and I feel like I, I get to by the, the beautiful writing in, in this show. Yeah. I mean, I've always, I've loved acting. I grew up doing community theater. My master's was in theater. I, I loved performing. Um, and then, you know, for the last 10 years, well, before The Chosen, I was doing mostly commercial work and it was not the creatively fulfilling thing that I, that I thought I was, you know, going to do. And, um, yeah, I mean, this, this role, I've never connected to anything like this before I've been able to use my own personal experience and, and emotions to, to use in a way that nothing else has been written that way for me. Um, and, uh, and then of course the audience response has just been overwhelming and so sweet. And it has connected me to people and across the world that have, you know, shared their own hearts. And it's just, it's opened up, I think my, my world in a lot of ways. Um, and it's just, it's been very special, yeah. I think it has um, reminded me of what Jesus was really preaching and what he really was. And um, I think sometimes, you know, there was a portion of my life that I was really cynical about religion and, and um, thought everyone was very judgmental and, and sort of exclusive. And, and then this show is making me remember and realize like Jesus was for everyone. And he was um, revolutionary in a political and cultural and social way as well, not just spiritual. And um and he was, you know, he, he was preaching things that are still to this day kind of mind blowing of turning the other cheek, loving your enemies, um, judging not. And 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 it's reminding me of what Christianity really is. And it is um, it is personal and it is uh, life changing. Um, and I think sometimes people get like their version of Christianity by seeing 
churches or other people's you know interpretation of things and i think this show and this experience has like made me go back to the actual gospels and like what jesus was really saying and and have a new personal relationship with that it it has but i i don't really talk about like where what church i go to or anything yeah, like yeah, that sure. it, it has um and every time i i go to a, a catholic church in a cathedral like i break down in tears and you know there's a there's an extra i think layer of meaning mm -hmm. um when you go in and kind of look around and and are reminded of all the these real people that 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 have changed the world you know it's getting bigger and bigger and the storylines are getting so intense and there's new characters and like it's 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 veering into this very epic storyline this very epic tor territory that is um i think just going to be an, an incredible experience to to be, be a part of as an actor but then also just to watch these stories unfold i know episode 7 and 8 are like going to be uh, unbelievable <laughs> on the big screen in theaters um there I haven't seen any of the scenes but from what I've heard from other people that have like done ADR or whatever like they're going to be like mind-blowing and as we're you know as we're that's just the end of season three you know yeah. so like I can't even imagine where where it goes of season four and onward but we know where it goes you know it's the crucifixion and the resurrection and knowing this team behind the chosen like I think those are going to be also just so incredible to you know and interpretations of fear not